And with that, I'm being told that TaskBot is ready. Are you guys ready to see TaskBot? All right, with that, I'm going to toss it over to Dwango and the crew over on the couch. All right, let's get this started. Hi, I am Dwango AC. To my left is Micro 500. He is my right-hand man, despite sitting on my left. Uh, I am uh, going, going to say only one thing. Everything you will see in the next 40 minutes to <clears throat> 40 minutes to an hour, uh, you know, however long we take, uh, everything you see is being done on completely unmodified hardware. That's an original Nintendo, original Super Nintendo. We have not changed the innards of these in any way. The first console we want to show you is the NES Classic that was released before Christmas. And I have to say that it gave us a lot more trouble than we expected. Uh, you'll find out why in a second. Uh, are we ready? I think so. All right, we're going to start off with a run on the NES Classic of a simple game called uh, Galaga. Yeah, nothing funny. All right. Ready? I think so. All right, let's go. So because of the console, I'm going to start it, kill it, and then start it again because I think that's the most reliable way to do this. So let's start it. I think, yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. So the NES Classic was released with 30 games in all territories. Not all the games were released so gonna have in to, every territory. I'm going to start it a few times before it works. Yeah. Because the NES Classic. Yeah, because. <laughs> uh, there's all kinds of funny things going on here. In fact, the NES Classic, this little $60 device, is actually a small Linux computer underneath. And the, Nintendo decided, for whatever reason, to connect the Wii controller in as a, an Xbox controller. Under the hood, they have a shim layer. OK, set that, the timer. Yeah, they have a shim layer that translates everything into Xbox controller uh, inputs and then feeds it into the emulator that's running on the NES Classic. So yes, yeah, we, we had a lot of trouble getting input actually into this console. It, the input driver is actually open source, so we looked at it. And it runs at 150 hertz for whatever reason. So we had to, I tricked it into actually pulling at 60 hertz, which kind of works, but then we had to sync it to something. So up on here, I'm actually splitting the, the HDMI signal, putting it into another board to, to sense the vSync signal, and using that as a sync signal for the 60 hertz. It's pretty messy. So I'm going to quickly talk about Galaga because things are going nuts over here. Uh, a tool-assisted speedrun is nothing more than taking an emulator of a system, playing at either slow motion or frame advance, saving a state, going backward, trying, every, trying again if you fail, until you get a perfect result. And that's what we just got. We're actually going to cut, kill the run here because that's actually about all there is of Galaga. If we were to wait a little bit longer until he died, you would see that, uh, until he died completely, you'd see that he fired 130 shots but hit 132 enemies. So he had a, a hit percentage of 101%. 101.5? 101.5, yes. Yeah. So we're going to move straight into Gradius. Uh, it will not work the first several times we try it. And yes. in fact, it might even uh, mess up about 30 seconds in. But yes. Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, so, so due, due to this console, it has a random startup time from the menu. So even though I program in how long to start the game, it's random. Yeah. Once we get it, we get it. So that was close. That was, that was close. So he might have to do this a good dozen times. While he's doing that, I want to say that we, uh, we have a little bit of Gradius history here. You might remember at AGDQ 2014, we tried playing Gradius and it There we go. Set the timer. All right. Set the timer. Now, there's uh, still a possibility we could have an early desynchronization. It's unlikely, though, but it's yeah. possible. Uh, but you guys paid a lot of money to see this. Uh, thank you for making it happen. This was a 40 grand incentive, and uh, we're very thankful <laughs> we got it. Uh, that's a little bit of TaskBot swag right there. So this tool-assisted speedrun was made by Adelicat and was resynchronized for the NES Classic by Link Sevens. A yeah. And yes, there's a lot of showing off. Yeah, we talk about resyncing because the NES Classic, in addition to being random startup times, it also filters your input. So you can't press left and right together. You can't press up and down. That's kind of expected. But you also can't press right on one frame and then left on the next frame. It takes the left frame and just removes it. So a, it, a lot of times in this movie, he'll press left and then right and like toggle back and forth. That gets filtered out, and the whole thing desyncs. So Link 7s took the movie, fixed all those instances, and made it work on this console by sure luck. And a lot of persistence. It was yeah. a lot of, of work. So uh, I'm really glad that we get a chance to exonerate poor Adelicat, because we tried showing this in AGDQ 2014, and it desynchronized. Yeah, so to be clear, this is a Delicat's movie, but we've uh, modified it a little bit to fix those desyncs. So there's parts where, um, I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll, You'll see it. Yes. Yeah, you'll definitely see it. You, you can't miss it, in fact. Um, so I have the Mexican runner here on stage. 
He has, in the past, successfully beat this game, which is more than I can say. Uh, I have not successfully beat the... Oh, God, he's just showing off now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you play this game this way? Uh, well, I tried, but uh, I, I think it, it could have been really bad for the pilot of, of that uh, ship, you know. It, yeah. it can get dizzy or something uh, oh. like that, so I, I decided to play it classy and... So, and so this is a volcano that killed us in AGTQ 2014. We're really angry at that volcano. Really, really angry. So, we're just shooting the shooting the daylights out of it. That was nice. We're past the volcano! <laughs> we're we have we're officially sinking. made it farther. Let's hope it doesn't desync now. You think it could? No. No, I was going to say. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. Um, you might notice he's moving ridiculously fast. That's because he picked up a bunch of speed boosts that make him go insanely fast, like yeah. that fast. Yeah. Uh, it gets so bad that he decides to just mess around and start drawing letters. So keep your eyes open for that. I'll point out a couple point, points when he does it. This there is, was an A. This is like the transition to the warp zone. Like uh, in, the, in the very first level, there is uh, like four hatches that if he kills them, uh, well, he can warp to the next level. Uh, the next level, um, it has three, um, there is three warps in total in, in the whole game, but uh, it is somehow limited to only be available to get to in the game. It's just, that is how it's programmed. And now... <laughs> <laughs> The game has something that uh, you can speed up up to 13 times uh, the speed up, and I believe uh, it kind of reaches the max speed. But you know, like at that super speed of 13 speed ups, uh, you can sometimes uh, do something that we will see here. Like it, I would call it magic, but uh, well, yeah, clearly something we were not aware, and of course a casual player will never ever see in their life. So here we have this uh, head. Uh, this is another level. This is level three where we can uh, get another warp, like by killing ten of those heads. And uh, yeah, some of them is like he's carefully placing those options uh, just just to kill them. As you can see, he's kind of clipping there, like uh, f from the top to the bottom, I mean, not normally you die, but uh, thanks that uh, you can skip like uh, eight pixels, like you're able to go across those like walls. Uh, and we'll, we have more heads, uh, clearly. So Barry's drawing a little bit, having a little fun drawing letters. Yeah, there's, there's a message that is gonna be there, so just put close attention to it. So and you author of the run was A-D-E-L-I-K-A-T. Delicat. Yep. <laughs> Probably a good time to mention that Adelicat is the site man manager for taskvideos.org. You can find other tool assisted speedruns like this at oh E A T A T A T J O E S. Eat it Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> You could find more tool assisted speedruns that are just as I funny as this it's... one. Is this where he resets? I think it's a little later. I remember. Yeah, eventually there is a deliberate death coming up. I yeah, don't think it's, it's after here, the though. next one. Yeah, it's after the next one. Don't be surprised when he dies. Yeah, right. so don't be, it's, it's intentional. Fair time to sneak in a donation. Spoilers. Yeah, absolutely. Now's a great time. Uh, I have $107.55 from AWD42. Says, here is two, four, two A zero three hexadecimal pennies in honor of the NES CPU and the amazing task bot. Nice. That's a great donation. That is great. So, obviously, with an auto scroller, there's not much you can do. Auto scrollers are not really that entertaining, usually, until you do stupid stuff like this with them. <laughs> there's just bullets all over the screen. He doesn't bother killing any enemies because that would take bullets away. Why would you do that? The beauty of this thing is he's just taking the NES to the max. Like, just look at how many bullets. I mean, like a normal player, if he you shoot there, it's tons of thousands of lag. You always get that, and well, <laughs> it's just like this. This is a very particular like uh, tool assist speed run because it's not like the common break the game completely. It's it's it's, it's a kind of art. Yeah, and that's actually a really good point, because ultimately, everything that we do at taskvideos.org is art. It's, it's just a form of taking the original game that the developers created and making something new out of it, transforming it into something that they possibly didn't even know was possible, or often didn't know was possible. 
I'm going to bet that the Legend of Zelda designers had no idea that bottles were going to be abused nearly as much as we tend to abuse them. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing is that a lot of times, while the focus is obviously on speed, even at Tool Assisted Speedruns, uh, we do, I want to add in a little bit more flair, we'll throw in things that a human could never do. And that's what you're seeing in this run. This is a really good example of how you can take a normal game and make it a little bit more extraordinary when you're doing a Tool Assisted Speedrun. Swag is important. Swag is about everything. <laughs> yes, everything's about swag. Um, obviously, we show a lot of things here during the Taskbot blocks at AGDQ that are not representative of what you would normally find at Task Videos because we tend to break things in various different ways, really, really break things. And most of the content is not just breaking a game. Usually, it's playing it clear through to its logical completion. But I think we have time for. Here's the intentional death coming up. Yeah, the intentional death is just to, because it gets boring when you can move this fast all the time, so he just resets right there. Yeah. Uh, now's a good time for a donation incentive or two. I mean, okay. our donation uh, comment or two. I have $25 from Loki Orin who says, Beep Boop, analyzing digital life forms, inefficient, kill animals, save frames. Thank you very much, Loki Orin. I also have uh, $300 from Media Magnet says, hey guys, Media Magnet here. Had a great time working with the TaskBot team over the past months. Keep being awesome and seeing everything come together was amazing. And of course, kill the animals. Ah, uh, yes, Media Magnet is behind us on the couch. He was a massive amount of support. He also donated some amazing raffle prizes you seriously should be donating for. Uh, we are giving away a Raspberry Pi dev kit along with some uh, display and everything needed to make your own replay device. Uh, we hope to even manage to ma get some cables in there too. So. You donate during this block, you will become eligible for that. I don't know what the dollar amount is for that, but it's a really cool prize. I can tell you really quick. Uh, Donkey Kong Arcade Marquee is a $20 donation. Donkey Kong for the NES is $10. Raspberry Pi 3 Model B with accessories is $15. And of course, the grand prize is still running. The PS4 Pro VR bundle with 10 games is $75. Awesome. And that, that Raspberry Pi is a computer, a display, I believe there's a, a SD card with the operating system already loaded on it, and we are going to throw in a board that will allow you to do a replay of some of the stuff you will be seeing today. So by all means, jump on that donation, because it's not even that much. Yeah, just $15 to be entered for that drawing. So why bother getting in the fray when you can just camp? <laughs> ah, never mind. What the heck? <laughs> uh, he went through some of those walls earlier while I was talking, by the way. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Is the speed, is the speed. <laughs> now, is this a repeat of the first level with uh, more enemies? This game kind of reminds me of Star Wars. Like, you know, when you see those modern movies, like ships flying all around, well, clearly this was a very advanced prototype, I would say. Well, the pilot definitely has the force, so. <laughs> <laughs> it has the force with him. I think he has indigestion by this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be sick in this plane. Yeah. I think this is the last level, right? I believe I so. so. Yeah. And I went fast. Very fast. Every time we prepare for one of these, we think, ah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta make it go faster, gotta go faster. And then when we actually get up here, it, it's like Twitch. It's like the Twitch stream somehow, somehow accelerates time or something. Everything just goes so much yeah. faster. Oh yeah, he's just. So showing off right now. So finally showing off the laser. You That's, finally got it? Yep. Right there, killing some enemies. Oh, it was passive just almost till that point. So I didn't explain like in order to warp you need certain score to be even with uh, Yeah, you, you you need to meet the requirement to warp, uh, like killing the four hatches or ten heads, and also your score has to be even with Pretty strange restriction. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Just, somebody thought that was good. He's just making all those bolts go right next to him. I would like to chime in real quick and sure. let you know that all the TaskBot followers have pushed Kill the Animals Ahead Ooh. for the Whoa. first time in quite a while. <laughs> now, don't, don't get me wrong, I love animals, but TaskBot a frame wasted is a travesty. Um, that is it. That's it, that time, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Awesome. So we're going to move from the NES Classic portion. Uh, we, we tried a lot of different things with the NES Classic that didn't work. Uh, Kirby's Adventure desynchronized. We even considered a death tour of random different games, but it just wasn't worth it. So uh, this was something we were able to show. We're really glad that we were able to get this working. Uh, we're going to move on to the next segment, so we're going to have a brief moment to do some donations while we set up the next console. I need a short minute. Go ahead and kill that one. I have a... I have an anonymous $50 donation that says, kill the animals, do it, do it now. Don't kill me, please. I have an anonymous $100 donation that says, TaskBot knows best, of course TaskBot does. Uh, I have a $75 donation from Timson who says, we are the robots. Speaking of which, I have a $50 anonymous donation that says, exterminate, exterminate. Exterminate. Fill up on stage. Yeah. Or up on the on the on the card. I have a one thousand dollar donation from Optimality. <laughs> Optimality says, "Been watching for years. Glad to finally be able to do donate. Taskbot is my hero. Thank you very much, Optimality." We have $600 from D-Hack Ed. Oh. Says, oh. hi, Dwayne, go AC. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hi. And with that, I'm being told we're ready to go. You got one more. One more? Yeah, one more. One more? OK. I've got an anonymous $100 donation. Taskbot is love. Taskbot is life. This donation goes to our Lord and Savior. Taskbot's donation choice of saving the animals. <laughs> oh, and I also do have a donation from Taskbot. Uh, Taskbot donated $1,337. Thank you very much. And Taskbot says, this is Taskbot. I won an award at GeekPone, but I do not use human currency. Please take my money. My keeper, Dwango AC, wants me to tell the donation reader to thank Micro 500, Total, P4 Plus 2, Arkin, Onosaurus, Ilari, Link 7777, Media Magnet, Weatherton, Tampa, and Angie, Buffet Time, Vulogen, and many others who were recruited at the 11th hour. Save the frames, kill the animals. <laughs> and with that, I think, we're, I think Taspot, if, if I gave him more time, he would probably uh, not take it. So. Uh, <laughs> We're going to move straight into Super Mario Brothers 3, but not like you've seen it before. All right, so let's kick this off. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right. All right. So tell me if this is a strategy you would use. I mean, off the bat, yeah. Right off the bat, looks good. Almost good. A little, little different, but I mean, pretty normal so far. Okay, yeah, not that. Not that? Not, not that. that, no. Is it, I'm noticing a lot of lag. It's an old game. It's an old game? <laughs> it's yeah. It's an old game. There seems to be stopping shells in a very specific order. Uh, I mean, if you've ever seen, you know, Mario 3, you can definitely do some cool things with shells in specific... Oh, well, can you, can you do that? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, if they can turn up the volume of the music a little bit, there's a composition by Puzzle. <laughs> Were you so, not ready for that? I, I didn't realize it. No, I wasn't ready for <laughs> quite that, yeah. You guys can turn up the game audio for just a little bit. is almost done. This is incredible. <laughs> All right, so that's what we did to Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to take that off the screen.
It, 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 it is. It is. No, he's completely off the screen. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, you can just turn the TV off. That's yeah. so cool. Turn the TV off. Turn the TV off, Sirisium. On to, um, to Mega Man 1. And uh, are we ready? We're ready. Three, All right. two, one, go. So this is Mega Man 1. Uh, people who have seen this before might already know that there are some strange things that you can do in this first level. Uh, we're going to play it more or less normally at the very beginning. Mostly normally. You usually wouldn't just try falling off the cliff repeatedly, but, you know. <laughs> there's not much you can do through this section. We have time for one donation, probably. I have $100 from Johnny L. who says, excited for Taskbot. But gotta save those animals. Aww. Aww. All right, so we just pulled a media be a magnet beam out of nowhere and. Time! <laughs> Time. <laughs> Foolish humans, this is Tasman speaking. I am in contra. Sorry, that's, that's not a robotic voice, right? Ah, keep going, it sounds good, keep going. <laughs> Long have I waited for this opportunity. This world is mine. Oh. Yeah, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Uh, loading yeah. times back in the days. Loading, yeah. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I wonder what, what kind of operating system he has. It was, what, 1991? It looks a little bit older, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My in his. I knew that was going to happen. And what is Taskbot going to do in an operating system? He wrote the whole thing. He's probably just going to wander off now, isn't he? Well, Probably. if I would be a robot, I will tell you, but I cannot tell you. Yeah. yeah. It's not flying toasters. It looks like it's flying, flying controllers control and, and floppy disks. Well, uh, all, right. all right. Well, we'll, we'll just set that one that. aside. Yeah, that's it for that. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, move on to the next thing. All right, so. Yeah. So who, who would like to play a little bit of Legend of Zelda? Yeah. All, right. Me. All right, let's do it. I would. Taskbot, are you in? Yeah, I think he's in. OK, let's so, do this. Um, by the way, uh, you, on, the, on your viewing camera, Hopefully we, had, uh, we had Mega Man over here. We had, actually, they were probably possibly swapped, but that's OK. Mega Man and Super Mario Brothers 3. In the center here, we're going to have Legend of Zelda's inputs. It'll be on this controller here. Uh, I think we're ready to go. All right, three, two, one, go. OK. But for those of you who saw the uh, Link to the Past race the other day, this is going to be the same thing except not. Um, so they were talking about wall pumping and stuff in that uh, run. Uh, a task can also wall pump, of course, and they can also do uh, a faster movement by uh, holding left and pressing right every second frame to wobble. It also works with up when you hold up and press down every frame. And uh, when I'm in the narrow spots, like the doorway upcoming here, I can do a little zip glitch called a pixel supporting. Only works when going up and down, but it's uh, pushing Link forward a couple of pixels. Just the basic story. Link has to sell, uh, rescue Zelda and stuff, as always. Do I have but, to sneak uh, one in? Nope. Do I have time to sneak one in? Flango? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you'll have to be quick, though, because a lot of crazy is about to happen. I have uh, $2,500 from Narf, who says, Taskbot's choice. Thanks, everyone, for another amazing GDQ. I'm proud to be able to support such a great cause while enjoying so many of my favorite games to be played by tools. So by clipping into the corner there, the uh, diagonal wall, you can uh, teleport up or down. And I teleport straight up to wrap the screen. Now I'm fixing so I can enter this cave here to reset the screen to normal. Okay. And uh, you're in the rainy mode, All and right. you have to sell, uh, rescue Zelda to get rid of the rain. Right now, like there's nothing spawned in the overworld. There are no townspeople or anything. Not just it. So Link is going to start off by robbing some houses here and grabbing the money. 
And also when you're doing the, the pixel porting glitch, you can uh, travel through some ob ob objects when they're moving, like these blocks here. Let's see what Link is up to. After he gets done robbing everybody? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Typical Link. He smashes pots, hmm. takes money. What happened there? Wait. There's no Link anymore. So when you go up those stairs, you can hold uh, left and right and up at the same time, and you can make Link invisible. Except he will appear again when he falls down the wall. So, so here's where we cross all of our fingers. In approximately 10 seconds, there's a possibility that it could uh, desynchronize. No, and we're, we're good. good. OK. All right, we're lucky. Uh, wow. That was something we were unable to solve for, despite many, many hours of testing. But everything went OK, so. Let's see what Link is going to do with all the money. We got 150 rupees. What are you going to do now? Donate them, I guess. I feel like you're done robbing people. I hope so. I would hope so. 150 Wait, nope. should be enough for anybody, right? I just remember. No, you're not. What? Oh, yeah. We're not done robbing. Yeah, we need to get a, a bottle as well. Why'd you put that bomb there? Take the damage. That's good. Boosting time. <laughs> but you can also have to take damage eventually. It's too bad you can't rob the shop as well. You have to buy it. I, I do notice, though, you leave a bomb as a tip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How generous of you. I mean, it's a magic potion that makes you invincible, I guess. Cover your health, so this uh, a bomb as well as a tip. So where are we headed next? Yeah, so normally you have to enter the castle to rescue Zelda, but, and, and then you end up in the sanctuary. We're going to do it backwards instead, so we're going to enter the sanctuary and go through the sewers that way. Or not, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Mario 64. I'm sure you guys have seen this game before, <laughs> but um, we're going to be doing a task any percent here. Quiet. We have a lot of showcase of new glitches discovered this year, so in the past year. Uh, a lot of people collected together on YouTube, uh, in general in the task community, to make a, a new route completely in this game. It's pretty crazy. Audio is really quiet. Yeah, they'll have to turn the audio up a bit. To start the game, you assume he would go to the castle, right? But instead, in this game, if you long jump backwards onto a slope or a wall that prevents you moving, you actually cancel your long jump, gain enough speed here to travel into a parallel universe that allows you to clip out of balance and go under the pipe uh, to enter the Visicap stage here. And here he's just getting a setup. Does the same thing in theory, uh, but the crazy thing is, is that if you exit a level, Rather than dying, you actually keep all the speed you build up. And what he's doing here is uh, moving to a specific spot, <laughs> traveling out into a parallel universe, <laughs> which is like another world map outside, <laughs> and moving specifically to go right behind the door, where there's actually no water, and there's a floor where you can open the door from behind, because every single door in this game has a reverse entry point. And that's how he got inside. It's pretty nuts. So he skipped the first Bowser stage completely, and right there is an SBLJ. Uh, it's a basement BLJ that basically, uh, with the right speed and angle, you can actually clip straight through uh, Die Die Docks and go straight to Dark World. <laughs> and there we got a pole glitch, um, which is uh, you need to jump a specific height under the pole to grab it, and it will teleport you straight to the top. <laughs> and a crazy BLJ um, again, which allows you to teleport and go navigate around the whole Bowser stage to get to the boss. So a lot of glitches happening in a short period of time. And of course, we're going to have some fun. This is a task. <laughs> it's awesome. Maritas has always been so entertaining, like especially like the free running stuff that exists on YouTube. All the crazy things people do with the momentum in the game. <laughs> and lots of uh, punch cancels there for fun. Why not? Yeah.
Then we're gonna go upstairs. <laughs> Frame perfect exit. Under. I wish we could do that in RTA. Just slide up the stairs, cancel frame perfect. <laughs> oh. So what he does there, he BOJs, clips through the door, clips through the star door, keeps the speed all the way, even during the protects. The text does not make you lose your speed and use it to go straight to Bowser. <laughs> How much of this can, can it be done by a human? Uh, just like one or two of the things, but the, the BLJs, uh, like this movement for the Bowser stage, like after he does the backwards long jumps, uh, can only be done using pause buffering because he moves so fast, it's nearly impossible to react. Uh, but the basement BLJ he did to get to Fire C um, is doable in real time, but not as fast. You have to use the wall uh, to control the amount of speed you get to do it. But everything else is like not possible yet. Like the way he got into Visit Cap is not possible. I love that tail grab. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Spike grabs. And there you have it. SM64. Dunk quick. <laughs> Thank you for the excellent commentary. Thank you. Yeah, if you can make it if you can make it over here. All right. So, uh, can we double check that uh, our donation bid war ended with Valve winning? Uh, yes. Handily? Yes. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> oh. oh. The lights Ooh. dim. Okay. <laughs> and they're back. Okay. Somebody lean on the light switch. Uh, All right. So, well, the winner of the bid war? Was Valve. Valve. Yes, he's shaking his head. It was Valve. Okay. Are we ready to move on? I think we're ready to move on. Let's do the Valve. Which Valve will we do? Oh, Portal. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is Portal, and uh, we're going to take an item, and then you're going to see what's going to happen next in, uh, right now. Yeah, so we just went out of bounds instantly. Uh, using some weird uh, item movement and uh, using a lamp and some saving and loading. So yeah, now we're just going to go up the elevator and we're going to have to wait a little bit because we can't get out of bounds quite yet. So he's just gonna, we're just going to wait a little bit because we need to wait for the store to open. Right when that happens, we're going to do a thing called an ABH, which is an accelerated back hop. Where basically we gain uh, backward speed and keep going faster and faster every time we jump. It's because uh, they fix uh, bunny hopping by checking your backwards, your speed by subtracting it. So when you go backwards, you keep going faster. And then we're going to use that radio to uh, go fast with an, uh, what you call it, with an item boost. And then as you see, we're just doing a lot of really crazy portal shoots and we're like out of bounds. You can't even really tell what's going on. It's really crazy. And now we're going to use this camera. We're basically going to fall through it and boost through. Now we're doing a pixel perfect uh, couple portal shots and taking the camera again because we need this. We need to do that again for like a boosting. So there's a lot of crazy stuff going on as we can see. And so there's these things called portal peeking where you go through a portal, you shoot a portal, come back out and then go through, which lets you go through the portal that you shot through the portal. And also we have to wait for a few audio triggers because we need to go through elevators to go to the next level. So every time, we're just trying to get to an elevator as fast as possible. And we just use that camera to get boosted. As you heard the noise, uh, we are basically gaining a bunch of uh, velocity by kind of falling through the camera, even though we're standing still. So we're just going to keep using this camera for a little while. What else do you use other than cameras? Uh, you'll see. OK. But yeah, as you saw, we just used that camera and just exploded right to the elevator on that level. It's pretty cool. I also, love this commentary. Yeah, Gladys is great, isn't she? This voice acting is amazing. Also, we kind of just went to there so fast that the orange portal wasn't even out. Also, ignore the fact that some of the colors are a little weird. That's normal. That's, that's what everyone does. I mean, I know I did that when I first played the game. I see a chair. 
I wonder what we're going to do with that. I can't imagine. Hmm, what was that? Oh, did we just boost through Out of Bounds? That was cool. Yep. So, uh, this is this reminds me of the game Lava. If you ever were a kid and you couldn't stand on the floor, so you'd like throw all the couch cushions on the floor and stand on those, and if you stood on the actual floor, you could only stand there for a second. Seems like Inbounds is Lava, and we have to avoid it. Yeah. In, inbounds is not fun. I mean, like, I know when I first played this game, I was like, Inbounds, why would I do that? When I can be in all this black area. Exactly. Also, look at all these cool colors we see on screen. That's normal, right? Totally normal. Also, I mean, who doesn't know how to do the camera strat right there? I mean, come on. I notice the commentary, keeps, uh, the, the, her, her voice acting keeps getting cut off. Yeah, yeah we, we kind of get to the elevator so fast that it just goes away. Which is a shame because Gladys's commentary is so good. But yeah, so basically we keep going underneath the elevator. It kind of didn't see it because we got it so fast, but we got the orange portal now. So now we just completely have broken the game. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna we're underneath an elevator each time, and then every there's a couple levels where it's actually faster to use the camera strat to just get boosted to the end. Other times it's not. But yeah, so in RTA, we actually, for Out of Bounds, are under the elevator quite a lot. So this, so a lot of this actually is done RTA, but then not as fast, and also a lot of the other things just can't be done RTA viably. And also the weird colors, that's, that's, a, that's a weird bug, but yeah. Also, he just fell through the elevator by standing in a specific position so that he can get down to there. And now we're on, we just got to level 18, which is right before 19. Of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The math. Good math. Really good math. <laughs> Thank you. What's important about 19? Uh, well, you'll see in a second. It's uh, the last level of the game. And uh, let's just say the game is about to be over. Quite fast. Very fast? Yeah, because we don't have to care about elevators anymore. Just load zones. Oh, are we out of bounds? I didn't even realize. Oh, we're on the episode Escape 1. Oh, we're on Escape 2. Okay. I mean, now we're on escape, too. There we go. Oh, we're going to go find a turret real quick and then uh, kill Gladys. You know, no big deal. Oh, is that Gladys? Oh, hey, Gladys. How are you doing? Oh, what is happening here? Are we getting all the cores? You're getting, them, uh, you're it, getting hurt I, a lot. I mean, it's kind of hard to see what's happening. But uh, we're about to... We're about to beat her by using an edge glitch and putting all the cores right into the furnace without even touching a button. And uh, we just won. So, yeah, we <laughs> beat the game. <laughs> well, well, now that we beat the game, what should we do next? I think we should go to uh, an area where there's a, a, a certain pastry. I don't know if anyone knows about this pastry. Pastry, is it any clear? I, no, I think it's a pie. A pie? Oh, what's? Oh, that's a cool chair. A, that I, sounds I, like a lie. I don't think it's pie. I, it might be. I, I don't know. No, no it's Could not it be pie. a cake? A cake? No, now that's a lie. That is a lie. That is, a lie. That is definitely a lie. Uh, oh, it's a, hey. it's a cake. Go figure. Hmm. What will we do with our cake? You'll see in a second. Oh, okay. We're going to go back through there with the camera. Okay. No, I mean, I know everyone, when they first play through this game, they go to the cake room. It's really easy. Oh, sure. Yes. <laughs> Go out of bounds for a little bit. Yeah, just go out of bounds, know exactly where to go in like a in a timer area, you know, no big deal. Oh, and also we accidentally just blew up the entire base. No big deal. By the way, who made this tool assisted speedrun? Uh, this was made by Yuxpa. Uh, he's a very a, a prominent member of the Source Runs community. I'm I didn't have anything to do with this, but he had a lot of help from a lot of different people. So, but Yuxpa did the did this task by himself, and it's done in five minutes and thirteen seconds, which is exactly three minutes faster than the current out of bounds world record. It's pretty cool. That is pretty amazing. Uh, we might not have him on the official schedule. We'll try to fix that in in post, I guess. But uh, he did give me permission to use this. I'm very thankful for uh, that permission. This is an awesome run, and I've really enjoyed watching it. Yeah, Yuxpa did a really great job on this task. And hey, look where we are. Huh? Wait, is is there, is there a portals over there? Huh? How'd those Some, get there? It, yeah, I wonder what happened there. Hmm. Oh, is the oh the cube's falling. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> totally normal. Yeah, that's <laughs> totally normal. <laughs> All right, we crank it to eleven. And oh, did the, the oh it just fell? Okay. 
Nice. All right, well, that's Portal. Yeah, that was Portal. Thank you very much for coming. We'll go ahead and have a few more donation comments. All right, I'm going to rapid fire some uh, short ones. So here we go. Tor Talk donated $20 and said, Who let the bots out? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I have an anonymous $250 donation that says, $250 just for fun. Cancer sucks. Save the animals. Impaya donated $100 and says, new ro robot overlords and all that. No Rocks donated $75 and says, Taskbot is awesome. He would save the animals. I think Taskbot would disagree, but you are free to donate to whichever you choose. Uh, the man with the hex donated $250, says, sorry, Taskbot, need to save the animals. I also have a $75 donation from Arkham, says, hello to the Taskbot team and commentators. I just wanted to say thanks for giving me the ch chance to contribute to a great project by allowing me to join the Taskbot team in November. At the time, I was dealing with depression from my mother passing away that summer, and it gave me a way to contribute to a greater cause. My mother became ill in February last year and had to be hospitalized. My family dealt with a great amount of sadness and stress from seeing her slowly recover in the hospital for five months, only for things to take a tragic turn overnight during the summer. It's taken a long time for my family to recover, but my time helping out with TaskBot has certainly helped me out. I hope this donation will help others that are going through a similar experience. Go ahead and put this towards saving the frames. Thank you very much, Arkin. All right. All right. I think I, and Arkin was, was a lot of help. It, it, was, it was definitely great having Arkin on the team and a bunch of other people as well. Uh, I think we're ready to move on to the next big thing. I think so. All right. Shall let's, we do it? Let's see what happens. Hi. 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 I knew you would do that. I just <laughs> knew it. Please. Hi. <laughs> It's okay. No, oh, can't be mine. Am I going to pick up the call? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Is someone there? Someone there? Hopefully you can hear us. Hello. <laughs> um. <laughs> Maybe he can hear us? Hi. <laughs> I'm not sure he can hear us, but I think we can hear him. James? Yeah, we hear him. James, can you hear us? Hello? <laughs> Who's this James guy? Does anybody know who this is? Never seen him before. No? Anybody? Hello? Oh, no. Hello? Oh. Can anyone hear me? Can yes. Hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, everybody. Hey everybody at GDQ. How's it going? I do not hear anybody speaking to me. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! I muted the mic. Oh, yeah. you muted it. <laughs> Hello. I'll just talk to myself for just a little bit, then. Can you hear us? If that works out. All right. So where are you located? Hear myself echoing in the room over here. I'm gonna wander on in for just a little bit here. Ladies and gentlemen, James Chen. You know, <laughs> you know, I think there's a few other people. There might be a few others. You know, let's go. Let's go to the couch. The couch. Yeah, maybe. Hey, there's the couch. Oh, hey. This would be a sassinator on the right there, and oh. <laughs> well, who else do we have? I think meaty magnets there. We got. What else do we got over there? Oh, there's there's muffins. 
Nice. But what else do we got going around the event? Surely uh, got something. Wait, wait. There. I think we have crowd view. Hold on. A crowd view. Oh, there, there we go. Some of the crowd is on here. I don't know who, but <laughs> someone's in the crowd. Nice. What else do we, we got? What do we got here? I think we have Velazhin. Is that? I think so. <laughs> I don't know if he can hear us, but. Oh, there he is. Where is he? I don't know. He's like walking down the hallway or something. We, we got like Blair Witch Project going on. Blair Witch. <laughs> oh, I think he walked out of range. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Oh, there he goes. Is that the arcade? It's sideways, but it looks like an arcade. <laughs> that's really funny. Yes, that's our arcade. That's awesome. our arcade. Let's see who else. Why are we still here? And remember, that we, More we people are still in the room. We are still playing through the SNES system. Yes. Right now. Yeah, this is all through the SNES console. What else do we got? Got other people. Hi. Oh, nice. Got a leg, I think. A leg? Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello again. More Blair Witch Project. Blair Witch. Where is he going? I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's in the casual room, it looks like. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> Well, I suppose now is as, as well. This is continuing on. Now is as good a time as any to switch to the three-screen view, so we can show you what's really going on. Feel free to. So, obviously, a original, an original Super Nintendo cannot exactly pull off playing Portal. That's that's a bit of a stretch. Um, we had a little bit of help. So, what you actually have going on here is Super Mario Brothers Three is spitting out 54 kilohertz mono audio on the left. And Mega Man 1 is spitting out 54 kilohertz mono audio on the right. Put those together, we get stereo audio. Meanwhile, Legend of Zelda is pushing approximately 10 frames per second at an adaptive 256 color palette, which means that we have full video on a Super Nintendo and full audio on the Nintendo. And that's how we've presented what you've seen, seen today. <laughs> you. I've crunched a few numbers. It'll be interesting. <laughs> so, so to put this into perspective, if you were to actually convert this to legitimate button presses, we're pushing approximately a quarter million button presses through these consoles collectively per second. Yes. <laughs> the, uh, the NES consoles are each receiving 540 kilobytes per second, is that correct? So basically you have 40, uh, 54 kilobytes through each NES console for 108 uh, 108,000, and then you have approximately 144,000 is going through the SNES. Uh, I know that the total overall, overall rate right now for the video alone is over a megabit per second. So it's, about 1.1. Yeah, one, about 1.1 megabits per second. So we are s sending some serious amount of data. Uh, completely ignore the visualization boards because what's coming out of them is complete insanity at this point. It's not even representative. We haven't even, we're at the point now, because we had complete control over the Super Nintendo, that we didn't even bother making it act like a controller anymore. It was kind of controversial, but we removed all the latches to make more room for data, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, we originally had this crazy idea of using a master and a, and a slave clock for keeping video in sync, and then we just said forget it and put, them on, put the audio on a delay and made it work that way. Uh, we're adapting the palette that you see uh, every five frames, and we're looking forward in advance, so we add about five video frames of, uh, of lag, which is about half a second since we're doing about 10 frames a second total. Uh, but it gives us the ability to adaptively change the palette, which is why the colors look so good on his shirt right now. Why it's his shirt, I have no idea. <laughs> Where is he even going he's now? near us. I, I think he's almost in the stream room. <laughs> Maybe. Is he there? Oh, hey. he's here. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Velagin. Uh, nice. All right, audience, you've been absolutely fantastic. One more time, Ooh, give yourselves a round of applause. Have him point it at the screen. Have him point yep. it at the screen. Velazin. Cool, Jake. Point at the screen. Point at the screen. You know we had to do this. Gotta get the police No, sir. Standard. Cool.
There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Well, we're coming to the close of the TaskBot block, but I have to tell you, it wouldn't be a TaskBot block without a little bit of one more thing. Yeah. So, hey, Twitch chat. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? You get to have a little bit of fun too, Twitch chat. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't leave you alone. Uh, sorry, Legend, we're killing the camera off. Let's have a little bit of fun with Twitch chat. What do you say? Well, I think that's a good idea. Can we play some credits? Yeah, why don't oh, we do yeah. that first? Why don't we, you know, there were so many people that were involved in this. Uh, this was an insane undertaking. Obviously, there were a lot of different components of this, and uh, we have a little bit of, of a, a credits reel we'd really like you to be able to see. So he's going to kick that off right now. In a second. By the way, this entire thing is running under Linux. Uh, it's been awesome being able to use that. So oh. All of these people were involved in one way or another. It's a pretty long list. Yeah, it, it got long this year. It, it definitely got long. We're almost there. Aww, yeah. CDQ. You know, I actually just counted this for the first time, and there's 42 names right there. Wow. Oh, wow, that's perfect. <laughs> I want to again thank everyone on the team who made this possible. Again, my name is Dewango AC. You can find me on Twitch at Dewango AC. That's D W A N G O A C. I'm streaming a lot more frequently now doing tool assisted speedrun stuff. This is Micro 500. You can find him on Twitch. Uh, P4 Plus 2 is right here. He does some hacking things here and there. We've got Tampa. We have the Mexican runner right here. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Sericium. We have uh, Buffet Time, Stump. Yeah, there's so many other people that, I'm just pointing at the people that are nearby. There's so many people that have been involved. I want to tell everybody thank you so much, and uh, let's have a little bit of fun, Twitch chat. All right, let's have it. So what will Twitch be playing today? The best game ever made. The best game the best ever? The best game ever made, Channel Color a Dinosaur. Or it won't work today, that's cool. Uh, one last thing, anybody who's upset about what you saw today, blame me, I'm the one that made the decisions on what to do. P4 is one of the biggest tech cool. guys, as, as is Micro 500. They did Why the hard would, stuff. And it just decided to stop working. It just decided, oh, of course. Hold on, hold on. I, I will get this. Oh, yeah. Inevitably, every time we go to do a Twitch, uh, anything with TaskBot, there's something that goes wrong. The one thing that should have worked. <laughs> yeah, the, the, probably the, one of the least nope. troublesome things. <laughs> Still not working. Um, you want to just try and manually move it? Yeah, we'll just move it. It's going to fail. Oh, there we go. Wait for it. Oh. Wait, right click. Wait for it. I'll try and get there it into position. There we go. Uh, uh. All right. Uh, so, uh, Twitch, you know your emotes. Let's show, show us a few of them. They are. Uh, by the way, we're going we're gonna to also have you color a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> so, say a color and a number. Go. <laughs> so, say a color and a number, and you can paint by number. Uh, and we're just going to, you know, you know what? leave you know, this running. On. Oh, my Dino gosh. Dinosaurs are fun. Dinosaurs are fun. Oh, oh, that's Sonic. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just covered over immediately. Yeah, oh, well, we've you, got you can't even hardly. There's Taskbot. Well, there was Taskbot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Get creative with the Twitch chat, uh, with the emotes. Yeah, so please use all the emotes. Yeah, I'll use all the emotes. You know you want to. Oh, my There's gosh. Sonic. What is that? Oh, that's a Dorito with a mustache? I haven't seen that one. It, yeah. Well, we're just going to leave this up in between runs. You guys have all the fun you in the world. It's been a wonderful opportunity to come here today. Thank you so much. The task box is now concluded.
All right, thank you very much to Dwango and the rest of the TaskBot crew. You did see all of their names up there on the credits. I'm gonna tear through some donations while we're getting ready to set up for Dark Souls 3. Uh, so I have a $100 from an anonymous donator who says, what 100% run is complete without saving the animals? After our TaskBot segment there, we do have Kill the Animals Ahead by about $3,000 right now. We are going to go to a quick Twitch ad, so we'll be back in just a short amount of time. Thank you. 